everyone, we're going to talk about Cecil Turtle. He may have only been in three cartoons, but he's one of the very few Looney Tunes characters who can outwit Bugs Bunny. Cecil made his debut March 15, 1941 in the cartoon Tortoise Beats Hair. This cartoon is directed by Tex Avery. Spoiler alert, the tortoise wins. Of course, the title is a pretty big clue. Tortoise beats hair? Tortoise beats hair? Why, these spooey guys don't know what they're talking about. Tex Avery had been working for Warner Brothers since 1935. Less than a month after the premiere of Tortoise Beats Hair in 1941, Tex Avery and producer Leon Schlesinger had a disagreement. The producer did not approve of Avery's ending to the heckling hair. Tex demanded that his 40 feet of cut footage remain in the film. When Tex walked out of the studio, he was slapped with a four-week unpaid suspension. Later that year in September, it was announced that Tex had signed a five-year contract with MGM. The split between Tex Avery and Warner Brothers happened before Tex could produce any new cartoons featuring Cecil. However, he created another slow and steady character for MGM that would prove to be a great success, Droopy. Hello, are you happy people? The second cartoon featuring Cecil Turtle was directed by Bob Clampett. Tortoise Wins by a Hair was released February 20th, 1943. One for the money, two for the show, three to make like ready, and four to go! An interesting side note, Droopy made his debut one month later on March 20th. Is this a coincidence? Or did Tex decide to make this cartoon in response to Warner Brothers making use of his character Cecil Turtle? It's a possibility! In the cartoon Northwest Hounded Police, Droopy has even used help from his relatives to outsmart a wolf, much like Cecil. Droopy takes several traits from his predecessor Cecil, from his cleverness to his calm demeanor. We do this kind of stuff to him all through the picture. I surprise him like this all through the picture. The final matchup was in 1947, in the cartoon Rabbit Transit, directed by Frizz Freeling. It's great to see how Tex Avery, Bob Clampett, and Frizz Freeling all handled this classic fable. All three cartoons can be found in the Looney Tunes Golden Collection. Tortoise Wins by Hair can be found uncensored on the Looney Tunes Golden Collection Volume 1. Tortoise Beats Hair and Rabbit Transit can be found on Volume 2. Cecil has made numerous cameos since the 40s. In the 90s, he was seen briefly in Space Jam. On Animaniacs and Sylvester and Tweety Mysteries, he's seen as a villain. He's been featured on Season 2 of The Looney Tunes Show, appearing in the episode Customer Service in 2012, and later appearing in The Shell Game in 2013. Most recently, Cecil has appeared in Looney Tunes Rabbit's Run, a 2015 straight-to-DVD movie. I think it's safe to say Cecil hasn't made his last appearance. Cecil is the only Looney Tunes character to beat Bugs Bunny three times in a row. One mystery remains. Since Cecil is a tortoise, why is his name Cecil Turtle? I tell you, it just don't make sense. If you haven't seen these cartoons, go check them out right now. And if you enjoyed this video, you might also like to see the 80th anniversary special for Porky Pig or the 60th anniversary special from Michigan J. Frog. Recently I uploaded some time-lapse drawing videos with Cecil Turtle and Bugs Bunny. Be sure to subscribe because there's going to be all kinds of fun new videos and I'd hate for you to miss any of it. Until next time, see you soon!